What's up guys? Welcome to the Bonsai Empire Anniversary Q&A. So the question I will answer for you guys today is how to get to a show ready bonsai from a Yamadori material. Let's get started. So the quick and easy answer to your question would simply be skill and time. Now obviously there's a lot more to it than just that. So let me get a bit more into it. Now, how do you start collecting a tree? After you find a suitable piece of material you want to collect, what I like to do is, depending on the size of a, of a tree, I simply decide on a radius and simply dig a hole around the trunk. Now, obviously you will never be able to collect all the roots that the tree has. So, whichever bigger roots grow outside of that circle, I simply cut off. Um, after you have successfully collected the tree, you bring it home and now things start to get a bit different for deciduous and conifers. Now, let me start with the deciduous material. Uh, usually what I like to do is simply wash off all the old soil straight away. Uh, perhaps may make some minor selections on the roots um, and afterwards find a suitable container for it uh, in which all the roots will fit into and completely fill that container with pumice. Uh, now for Yamadori trees I use only pumice regarding, not regarding of the species and nothing. So I think it works, for me it works best and I think it's a good cheap soil to use for Yamadori. Now with coniferous material, uh, I same like the deciduous I bring home, but I don't wash the roots. I try to keep as much soil on the roots as possible uh, the reason for that being coniferous trees like to or usually live in symbiosis with mycorrhiza which is a, some sort of fungus beneficial to the tree and sometimes if you would remove all of this fungus the tree might even die just because of that. So I like to leave a bit more of the original soil, and soil on the roots and uh, still fill all the, the leftover holes with pumice. Uh, now here I have two, two trees, this is uh, Prunus Machalep uh, and uh, Sylvester Spine. Now both of these trees were collected by me uh, one or two years ago um, and they have not gotten any work done to them yet besides shortening, shortening some bigger branches when collecting. Uh, otherwise after collecting maybe I put them in a shady location for a week or for two weeks, three weeks, maybe a month. Um, and after that, I just simply put them somewhere in the, in the back of my garden and try to forget, forget about them. I want them to, to regain their strength, be healthy again, and maybe here and there I just fertilize them a little bit. Now, before I get to the next stage of our development, let me just mention that I can only talk from my own experience. I know what be works best in my climate, my climate, and I know wh at what time in the year to do some stuff. Now, this may vary regarding your own location, your own climate. Um, so I suggest you simply try it out and figure out what what works best for you. Now, the next part of our development comes the first styling. After the tree has recovered from the collecting. Uh, what I actually like to do before any first styling is give the tree another repotting. Uh, the reason being, the reason being, I like to inspect the the, the nebari. You know, usually when you collect the tree, you bring it home, you simply fill it with soil, maybe a bit higher than you you would need to in the later stages. So before any styling, I want to see the whole nebari. Um, after we have done that, comes the first styling. Now here again are two trees, a deciduous and a conifer, after the first styling. Now, once again, there are some different differences between these two types of trees. Um, with deciduous trees, for example, on the first styling, what you can do, you can do the branch or the trunk even selection. Uh, in this case, this was a multi-trunk tree. Uh, for the first styling, I eliminated a few trunks decided this to be a three trunk tree, three trunk bonsai, and I could wire and style the main branches. Uh, in this case, here's another Scots pine. 
Uh, as you can see, I could already make a bit more like a detailed styling. Not really actually, but I could position the main branches and you can overall you can see you can see a bit clearer the in what direction the tree will go. Uh, and it also look it, it also looks quite more developed as the deciduous here in this point of the of the styling. Um, after this you, you simply have to let the tree rest again and work on ramification and uh, and back bedding. Now, after the first styling, like mentioned earlier, you have to work on, on ramifying your foliage. Your new selected foliage after the first selection. Uh, what you also have to do is maybe make a repotting or two. To, so until this, this point you need to have no more original soil in the pot. The, tree, the trees already have to be well established, well ramified and now comes the next step, second styling. So in the second styling you can already make a more detailed looking bonsai. So for example with this Mugo pine, like you see uh, it already has a well, well refined crown, well refined foliage pads, but still lacks a little bit more time to, to f let them fill out and maybe for some of you this tree might even already look well established for an exhibition, suitable for an exhibition, but if you may, may look closer you can still, still notice some thicker wire on the branches um, and simply because of that the tree is not yet ready to be exhibited. Uh, now in the case of deciduous bonsai you can already work on the secondary tertiary branches, wire them, style them uh, and get really get that main main branch structure in place. So after the this second styling you basically on deciduous material I simply prefer to do the clip and grow technique. You don't really need any much more wiring on the tree you simply need much much more ramification. And on on coniferous material pretty much similar like with the deciduous trees you want to, to get achieve more ramification, fill out these foliage pads and basically you want to all the main branches to to stay in place after you remove the wire. Now after a couple more growing seasons you will be left with trees that look like this. So what kind of a tree do you really want to put in an exhibition? For deciduous you want to have a well ramified tree without any piece of wire on it. So that really shows the, the maturity of the tree, the time, the years spent in it. Uh, with conifers you can still use a little bit of wire because simply because the foliage stays on the whole year round and you won't really be, be seeing it much. Uh, nevertheless you still want to keep the, the wire to the minimum, maybe just smaller gauges of wire, necessarily copper wire simply because it's less visible. Uh, but as you can see you have a very detailed tree, a very mature looking tree uh, of course in the final pot, the, the most suitable pot in size and shape um, and these are in my opinion trees that are ready for an exhibition. So overall this whole process from collecting to exhibiting a tree can take usually up to from 5 to 10 years, usually with deciduous material, material it takes a bit longer simply because you can see all the structure and it really needs to be perfect. Um, and with conifers it, it may be a bit quicker, maybe even not. So uh, to conclude this video, I hope it was informative, you have learned a few new, new tricks or at least figured out how the, this whole process works. Uh, and let me end this by congratulating Bonsai Empire once again for the 20th anniversary and see you guys around. Bye.